what kind of animal you pick from here. And you're going to pick five animals that you want. And on your piece of paper, you're gonna write down um, whatever animals you want. So I kind of already have a list. And once I've made my list of five animals, it can be any five, you're gonna go on to, um, you can close this one right here. And you can go under step one, you're gonna go to view assignment. And you're gonna click on this part right here under your word, click on it. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, it may take a little bit of time to come up. But you're gonna fill out, it's gonna be blank, but I already filled it out because when we were doing it in class today, um, I was showing everyone how to do it. So let's pretend, let me erase it really quick. So it's blank. <clears throat> Let me get this out of the way. So it should come up like this. You're gonna put your name here, your number, and your date. Then you're gonna pick the five, the five animals that you chose. You're gonna put them in order. The first one is the one that you really wanna do. So bull shark, clownfish, panda, or giant panda, <clears throat> hammerhead shark, and puffer fish. So once you've done all of those and you put your name on here, you're gonna turn it in right here. So that's gonna be step one. Once I turn it back into you, I'm gonna put a little message saying, um, I'll highlight it and I'll say, oh, you can uh, work on bull shark for step two now. And then you're gonna move on to step two and work on bull shark. So the next thing that you have to do, if you already know the animal, I know that I'm gonna do bull shark, then you come back um, and you, after you turn it in, I'll reply and you're gonna to get to go to, let me see, step two in Google Classroom under classwork. Now you go to step two. This website here, you're gonna use to find out your information. So here you're gonna click on this one, on that paper or on that box so that you can fill out this worksheet. So you don't have to download it, you don't have to write on it, you're gonna type into it. So you're gonna put your name again, your number and your date. These all need to be in complete sentences. So if it says, what is your animal, what's the name of your animal you're researching? I don't want just panda. You need to write the full complete sentence. So behind the question mark, you're gonna press space bar and you're gonna to go to underline and you're gonna say the, whoops, uh, the animal I am researching is the giant panda. Or I'm sorry, not giant panda, it was the bull shark. So once I write that, then I can go to step two. And you have to look this information up. It's gonna be under the same website you found your five animals. So you can split the screen, you can do half here. You can go to file, new window, you can do the shortcut, command N. And if it's on top, you just go above here where the, or up below or above the three dots and you move it to the other side. So you're splitting the screen. You're gonna go to, you can either go to Google Classroom, the link is found there, but it can also be found under my website, under K through second. So either way you can find it. So you're gonna go to K to second if you want, and if there's two lines, or you can go through Google Classroom. I'm just showing you the two ways that you can do it. Go to Google Classroom, go to Classwork, and then step two, the link is right here. So you click on it, and it takes you directly to it. So I need to look up um, the animal or the information about my um, my hammerhead or my bull shark. Sorry. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna scroll through, and I need to find my bull shark. It may take a while, sorry, it's kind of, because there's so many animals on here. Um, 
So I know it's somewhere around here. Oh, because I was looking in the wrong part. I was under fish. Okay, sorry. I looked under the wrong part, but also if you can't find it, you can type it into this little magnifying glass and you can type in um, bull shark or whatever your animal is. If you can't find it again in those, in all of those, here it is. So bull shark, I click on him or her, whatever it is. And then I can scroll down and here's all, most of all the information is here. If it's not here or in here, you have to read through it so it's not going to tell you directly like right away the habitat is this so you have to read through it if you can't find it you can always google it press this plus sign and you can type in what is the habitat of a bull shark and then it'll come up and it may t it's going to tell you right here or you can look through and read about it so here's the national geographic one and it'll tell you the information but here it tells me the habitat is, let's see. So bull sharks live through, and habitat means where they live. So they live throughout the world in shallow, warm ocean water. So here I'm gonna type in, I have the underline, bull sharks live in shallow, warm ocean waters, period. Then I can move on to step three. I got to read about it, answer it, under, underline it to show that it's the answer. Once I have finished all of my questions, then I can press turn in and then you're good to go. So I just showed you step one and two. So all of this, step one has to be done and I have to respond in order for you to move to step two. So if you move on to step two without me telling you to, then you'll have to just start all over. So please make sure you're going in order. And if you need help, you can join my office hours or your mom or dad can email me. Okay, so please make sure you go in step order. Make sure you turn in your calendar first. And then if you have any questions, you can join my office hours or you can email me, okay? So I hope this, um, this helped. And then we'll move on to step three after all of this. So step one should be due by this week. Step two is due by next Wednesday. So we only have class once a week from now on for an hour. All right. So I will see you guys later. Bye.